Hey guys, what is up? It's awesome to bring you guys on video. Today, I'm starting a small series that I'm going to do just for tonight. I'm basically going to play uh, Xbox a lot tonight and uh, break it up into 20-minute parts for you guys. And, um, yeah, now, sorry if the screen seems a bit off. Um, man, my screen just went black. That's perfect, you know? Um, sorry if everything seems a bit off. I'm still trying to get the camera angle looking perfect for you guys. But, uh just going to do this. So I'm going to talk to you guys about a lot of things in this. So right now I'm just going to switch my uh, game that I'm going to play to a Call of Duty game because I'm going to do Call of Duty talk. So, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, yes guys, I am well aware that the 360 version is cut back. It will not have campaign and DLCs aren't even confirmed to be coming out for the old gen. I'm still going to get it. This is why. Okay, either... I try and convince my parents to get me a PlayStation 4 that's about 300 to 400 bucks, and Black Ops 3, which is 60 bucks, and the extra add-ons, like, you know, an extra, like a hardened edition or, you know, something along the lines of that, which costs a bunch more money. Sorry for that small glare. That's actually my light in my room. I have a small lamp. Or I could just say, I can deal with dumbed-down graphics, but I can still play multiplayer in Shadows of Evil on Black Ops 3, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to complain, and I'm going to ask my dad, if I can borrow fifty dollars, and um, I know he's probably gonna be watching this video, and he's gonna be like, "Austin, do you really think I'm gonna let you borrow fifty dollars?" So, yeah, and this is also Black Ops too. How long it takes to load because it's terrible on my uh, Xbox 360. But yeah, I'm gonna get Black Ops three, and I'm gonna try it out on the old gen. Now, when Christmas rolls around, maybe I'll convince someone into getting me an next gen console because maybe there'll be deals going on at that point. You never know. So. Yeah, but guys, like I said, my gameplay is not going to be amazing on it because I know it's going to be dumbed down. But I was watching gameplay of it tonight, and I was like, you know, Xbox One looks amazing compared to the Xbox 360 about it. But, you know, I was able to survive with Advanced Warfare, even though I didn't play it that much. I could still play Advanced Warfare on old gen. Why can't I do it with Black Ops 3? It's just because Black Ops has a better, more special place in my heart. You know, I... I, you know, because you guys can still get gameplay. And if DLCs do come out, then that'll be amazing. You know, I know I'm not going to get the Giant for 360, which I'm perfectly okay with. Shadows of Evil looks great, you know. I've seen some gameplay of it. Like I said, Shadows of Evil looks amazing. You know what? I'm going to turn off this light just so it makes it a lot more easier for everyone. Wait. Yep, turning it off. But, yeah. I could survive Shadows of Evil on, you know, last gen. So, I think I'm just going to suck it up. Stop complaining. And get Black Ops 3 on last gen. But for now, I think I'm going to do some Black Ops 2. So I'm going to record all the games I play tonight. And let's play some Black Ops 2. Now, let's be smart here, though, so you guys can see it a lot better. My game will stop lagging. Okay, let's go to graphics, settings, brightness. Let's turn up a bit. And, uh, like I said, from what I've seen from Shadows of Evil... I mean, I usually hate on newer zombie maps, but Shadows of Evil, I can't lie, looks amazing. Um, let's play, let's go old school and play town. But, yeah, not gonna lie, Shadows of Evil looks great. Looks almost perfect. I was gonna hate on it because of all the extra modes, but the way they put it in, Shadows of Evil looks like it's gonna be amazing. Well, it looks like it is amazing already. And, uh, yeah. But, like I said, I highly suggest you go check out AGR or any other YouTuber into game hub that has, into game hub that has Black Ops 3 because, They'll probably have it on next gen. I know Tom Bob's Tom Bob's owns next gen console. I don't know if he's ever going to come back to uploading. Um, I know AGR has a next gen console. Um, I don't know if anyone else in Game has a next gen console, but yeah. So I'm going to ask to borrow fifty dollars, and uh, that's going to be that. And I know my dad's probably going to say, "Man, they're going to be like, man, Christmas is a month away," and I'm like, "Yeah, but that's a month, Dad. You know, <laughs> that's going to be my excuse." Okay, this looks weird to me because. Whoa. Okay, the brightness actually makes things look a lot different. But, yeah. You know, I was actually inspired to play... You know, the graphics don't look terribly bad on last gen. Like, if Stan if everything looks like this, I'll be okay. Which, of course, will be a bit darker because my brightness will be turned down. But yeah, the zombies look incredible. And, like I said, I can't give the game a perfect opinion if it's Black Ops 3 is a good game or not because I have never played it. Uh, my next-door neighbor does have it, so maybe... Maybe I can ask Ben, because Ben, you might be watching this video. Me and you, 
you should you should let me play a round of you know Black Ops Three on your next gen, while you know I should I could come over something I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna suck it up and get Black Ops Three on last gen just so you guys can get some, um, just so you guys can get some video or you know some gameplay of it because I know there's some of you that love my commentary which I know you guys are probably like you're just saying that. But I'm being 100% serious. There have been a few people that comment on my videos like, Yeah, dude, if you just had a capture card, your life would be perfect. I'm like, yeah, trust me, I know. And, you know, it really inspired me from what you guys said on um, my last upload when everyone was commenting, you know, don't quit. And, you know, please, please, please. Okay, I thought that zombie was going to kill me. I was going to cry. But, yeah, I'm going to continue uploading, and I'm going to suck it up and just get Black Ops 3 on old gen, you know? It doesn't seem too terribly cut bad. I mean, the campaign, you know, I'm not probably not going to play the campaign. I haven't, pl I haven't played a Call of Duty campaign in a few years. Last one I played was Ghosts. And Ghosts, I'm not going to lie, got me very into it. I, that, that get, let's, let's get a conversation going. What is the next Call of Duty going to be? So, obviously, Activision has the next Call of Duty game. Now, I believe, I kind of hope they do Ghosts 2, and let me explain why. Yes, I know Ghost Multiplayer was an epic failure for most people. But Ghost also had a lot of good redeeming factors. One thing that Ghost had that I loved was Extinction. The Extinction storyline didn't really bother me, and the gameplay actually gave me something to do. So if when I was too fed up with the multiplayer, I could just go over to Extinction and just enjoy it. And, uh, hello, Janikick. But then, you know, Extinction was a really good redeeming factor, in my opinion. And then, on the, at the same time, the campaign actually had me invested, too. I'm interested to see what happens to, to Logan, I think the character's name was. You know, Rourke was a really good villain, and the campaign really had me invested the whole way through. It wasn't a bad campaign. I really think they have a lot going for them. So, I really don't hope they just leave Ghost as it was and leave it as the ultimate cliffhanger and then just make a brand new Call of Duty game because, you know, I really hope they don't do that. Because, like, what I'm, I'm glad, you know, not everyone loved the Modern Warfare series, but I think the storyline was pretty good. Starting from COD 4, which I thought COD 4 was a brilliant game. I don't really like Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, but it had a good story. And then I think Modern Warfare 3 is better than Modern Warfare 2, but, you know, Modern Warfare 3 was a great ending to it. And I think Stidman explained it best in one of his really old videos. He said, you know, the ending to Modern Warfare 3, when you're smoking the cigar, it feels like a victory cigar. You know, it feels like, you know, you just won it, you know. Be happy, you won. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm probably going to go in 15-minute parts. Well, the first episode, this episode is probably going to be 15 minutes, and then I'm going to probably go to 10-minute parts. Which is going to be a long night. I'm going to have weeks of uploads. Well, if I get Black Ops 3, then maybe I won't have weeks. But, you know, whatever. Well, I'll have months if I, can't, if I got Black Ops 3. Zombie. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, dude. It's definitely a... Dude, the <laughs> Shadows of Evil compared to the starting maps we got in Black Ops 2 looks incredible. I watched Syndicate's gameplay and I watched a few other small gameplays. And, man, was it amazing. You know, I'm not going to lie, I was one of those people that doubted the game. I didn't think it was going to be good. I thought it looked like it was going to be terrible. I was like, man, they just changed zombies way too far. And then after studying it a bit more, I was like, okay, this actually seems pretty sick. And the gameplay and the, how they interpreted the beast. So I thought the beast was just going to be a random boss. Um, but no, the beast actually looks like a really, really sick idea. It kind of reminds me of Batman. <laughs> and here's all, uh, let me explain, because like, from the gameplay, I saw where you can do the, you know, on Syndicates where you can do the swing from the hook and, you know, break stuff down. It kind of reminds me of, like, Batman and Arkham City. You know, you could use your grappling hook, and you can go around the city, kind of. I don't know. And we got a max ammo. My volume's not turned up whatsoever, but it doesn't matter, because all you guys need is commentary right now. And then you can probably hear my... You know what? Audio settings. That's not Treyarch mix. Our intended mix. <laughs> Let me just turn this up a bit. Maybe you can barely hear it now, but... Barely. You know, I remember when Black Ops 2 first got released. Stidman got it, brought it over to my house, and we played it all day. And that's not an exaggeration. I had so many recorded videos, I just never uploaded them. And that was during, like, my eight-month eight, eight month break of YouTube. It was insane. I remember I took, like, eight months off because I was like, I'm sick of everything. And my textures aren't messing up. That's nice. But I was like, I'm sick of everything. I'm done, you know... And I stopped uploading for like eight months. One of the dumbest things I could ever do because I lost my view. Because I was averaging, at that point in YouTube, I was averaging about maybe 20 views per video, which was good for when I had like 60 subs. 
And then my biggest drop, man, as any economist knows, once you have a high peak, there's going to be a downfall. And let me tell you, my channel died hard and my textures are starting to mess up. My channel died, dude. I was averaging 50 views per video, 60 views per video, and dropped to averaging 15 views now. Which, uh, now I know those 15 viewers, though, are really true and faithful viewers, which I will always appreciate. And, yeah, my textures are already messing up on this game. I'm hating it, dude. It really bothers me. OCD. But I know my cousin Joey, um, you should see a lot more videos with him because um, he's planning on getting World at War in MW3 and not Black Ops 3. So that could be really fun because I, I really want to do videos with him because he might not be the best COD player. Well, then again, I don't even know because I haven't watched him play COD in a while. So he could be a pretty good COD player. But last time I saw he was he was a decent player. You know, he could hold his own. But he's got an awesome commentary. Like, he's just so fun to talk to. Like, earlier, I was playing Madden, which I'll be playing later on tonight during this big recording. But I was playing Madden. And while I was playing Madden, I was, like, getting really bored. And then he jumped on, and we just started talking. And I got so invested in Madden. It was awesome. Give me this double points. Give me this double points. Give me this double points. Get wrecked. I'm going to see if that theory works still. Because I remember Caleb did it in one of his old recorded videos. So I'm going to try it. But it's where you throw all the grenades in the fire. And the game feels bad for you. So it gives you a max ammo. You know, let's just play a lot of zombie maps tonight. Why not? I am going to go for Mustang and Sally's though. That's why I'm not buying any more guns right now. Okay, zombies get wrecked. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, uh, it's kind of... I remember a few days ago, I literally could not... Well, I could game that day, but it wasn't easy gaming. Like, so I dislocated my finger. Like, I jammed my finger and dislocated it. Got it popped back into place, but my finger was swollen, so I could, like, barely move it for, like... A few days ago, I could, like, not move it at all. And so, like, I was trying to play Black Ops 2 and uh, get some gameplay up, which I did record some gameplay. I just haven't uploaded it. And, dude, it was, like, so hard. It was, like, my middle finger, but it was hard to just, like, hold my controller and control it. Control my controller. Mustang and Sally. Yeah, yeah. You know what kind of makes me mad about my textures messing up? The, uh, uh, okay. This is a brand new disc. Like, I literally bought this disc, and it's still messed up. So, it's an Xbox 360 problem. So, I'm going to try to... I might not even ask for a next-gen... I, you know, I might just be a man and not ask for a next-gen console. And just ask uh, for a regular Xbox 360 for Christmas. Just so, you know, everything's fixed and new and not laggy. I'd have to get a new Xbox account. Though that would suck. I don't remember my password to this one. Well, I do, but it says it's invalid. Probably because my email got hacked and now my email address is invalid. I'm so not, not hyped that we just got the hammer. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I just sat down and played town, though. It's been, like, literally a year since I just sat down and played town. Not, not even exaggerating. Last time I played Towns before they patched the hammer and they made it and they gave it so much recoil. Like this is insane. I mean sure I played a few t t few rounds of town after that, but it wasn't like just sit down casually and just play. Also guys, if you thought if you haven't played Black Ops 3 and you thought Origins was crazy, pfft, Shadows of Evil is insane. Oh, maybe that theory's true. Go, go, go. New grenades. But I haven't, I don't know anything about the storyline, which it kind of intrigues me. Because I didn't watch Syndicate's full gameplay, I just saw multiple parts of it, and that was, and I saw, I like watched this video comparing the Xbox One to the Xbox 360 of Black Ops 3. But, you know, Black Ops 3 still looks sick. I'm not going to complain. And uh, this is probably going to be the end of part one. Just a heads up, guys. So I'm probably going to change it right about now.